All right, so we did the lightning build video, and I told you guys we were going to do a little bit of gameplay, but uh, we didn't quite have time. I didn't want to push that video too much longer, so without further ado, uh, we're going to do a greater rift. We're not going to do all of the greater rift in the video. We're going to go over, we'll do something fairly average, that way it doesn't get too crazy and I don't die in front of all my followers. So we'll do a 32 and uh, we'll figure this out. We've got elites right off the bat. And that's not going to help our cause very much uh, going through this. I've got a cat right in front of the screen. Um, I honestly can't see what's going on. So there we go. <laughs> Stuff died. That's all I know. Now a couple of key uh, points that you want to be able to make sure is uh, make sure and you know try and get stuff down narrow hallways uh, make sure and try and get stuff down hallways the best you can um, things on corners so that you know it's going to pass through uh, multiple enemies um, we're going to pause the game for just one second as my cat tries to attack the moving balls of lightning on the screen uh, the cat is crazy I have no idea what's going on so one of the things you want to try and do is to not die. Fuck this video. All right, so we're back from the cat disaster, the the, the great cat distraction of uh, 2014. Uh, as you can see, we got some of this guy's life down at one point, and this is the thing you want to try. Like, if you got stuff like teleporters and stuff like that, apparently we have a couple of yellows here, so. I guess this just allows us to show off a little bit more as far as the effectiveness and you can see just how fast that's hitting um, and as we're able to get a little bit more group play here uh, one of the things that you'll like to do your pets are gonna tank so doing something like you know the enemies are gonna come straight at you so putting it somewhere down here uh, and knowing that it's gonna pass straight through I went ahead and popped one actually we popped a couple down here with our hell trapper not sure what I was being hit by just then. Still having cat distractions. We've got another yellow. Okay, it was reflect damage. I was wondering what was hitting us so hard. So it appears that they wanted to load us up with elites all at the very beginning here. And you're going to see there's his health bar going down very, very rapidly. I want to keep this guy in a straight line uh, so we can go ahead and beast him down. Um, all right, so we were hit with... All right, we've got a fifth elite pack. Wow, so they're really doing a number on me to, to show just how effective this can be. They're like, all right, you want to see how good you are? Let's see how good you are. Now, granted, this is only a 32, and this might be quite a bit tougher. Um, I need to get them down here. See, this is a couple of key points. We're, we're blessed right now that we have everything kind of in a narrow area, and our pets are just up there tanking. Um, you can see our purple dots up there. They just got knocked back. Um, but that's the joy of playing a demon hunter uh, with pets, with the uh, Marauder six piece. Boy, more reflect damage. That's the only thing that can really hurt is because you're attacking so quickly. Um, that can cause a lot of damage uh, if you're playing reflect, so or if you're fighting against reflect. Right, apparently, one last guy hiding in the corner there or behind the door. Um, you're going to see his health go down very, very rapidly with this. We're not casting a lot because I'm talking too much. Now here's another good point. Uh, we can sit here, we can cast this and go straight down here. And these guys, which have a ton of health generally, are going down. Man, they are just loading up with elites. We're at 50% just part of the way through. Um, I'm going to let my pets tank because, uh, as Bandit would call them, the laser spinners are up there. And that's something you don't really want to mess with in such a small area. So uh, you're going to have to trust playing the sentry build that they are up there. You can see, and now he's down. I don't have text on at the moment, so you're probably missing the fact that all of these are getting killed. And there you can see all the elites that we've had in the very brief moments that we've been in this uh, in this rift. So... Here's a couple key points that I just wanted to give you guys as far as the gameplay. You can see just how this goes. Like I said, with the Hell Trapper, as you attack stuff, it's actually going to spawn directly on the stuff that you're hitting. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, when the angles that you're taking and how close things are going to get to you. 
Um, again, you want to shoot down hallways as much as possible. I uh, could have run in just there, but I'm going to stay back. I know those blue elites are coming, and I think they just hit me with a jailer. Yes, that's why I got one shot. The joy of a demon hunter. So I'm going to stay back as far as I can. There we go. Uh, a lot of times with the jailers like that, you got to try and just stay at max range uh, so that your pets are going to do you know the best damage possible and tank them and keep them out of that range so you don't get jailed. That's the only thing you can possibly do uh, in a lot of circumstances. We're going to do another video. Uh, like I said, if you watch the lightning video, there's a, a basically a permanent smoke screen build. Um, because we're hitting so rapidly, uh, we're also going to be able to crit pretty rapidly which is going to uh, proc the uh, Night, Night Stalker passive. And here again, we know the elites are coming. They're engaged. And I'm going to basically filter them through this tiny little area, build up our uh, hatred there real quick. Boy, they are giving me some really tough combinations here. So we're going to trust. Our pets are down there tanking. You can see the blue dots there. You know they're down there tanking. And I know that my sentries are shooting down there. These the 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 balls actually have a fairly decent range. Um, this video is going much quicker than I expected. And so we're going to load up here on this guy, and you're going to see just how much damage this does. The more he sticks around, all right. We've got our three sentries up. We're going to let the hell trapper do the rest. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build our hatred back up really quick. And as you can see, this guy is going down extremely rapidly. If you look at his uh, health bar up at the top there, you're going to see that, you know, we're doing damage. Now, one of the things that I probably should have said, one of the things I like to do here is I'll put sentries on both sides of the, uh, the rift bosses, especially guys like this where he spawns adds so that I have ball lightning shooting in two different directions. So if adds do come up, it's going to hit both sides of it. It's not just going to try and shoot one direction. So that's something to keep in mind when you are doing um, your sentries. I wish he'd stay around so I can finish him off. And there you can see the ball lightnings are already kind of queued up, hitting everything before and after the Rift boss. So, well, that goes down as one of the fastest level 32s I've completed. Uh, they loaded us up with elites. Uh, as you can see, playing with the Marauders build, uh, it gives you that opportunity to just stand back and uh, kind of let your sentries do the damage. And with the uh, ball lightning, so long as you line everything up uh, and, and kind of put it where you need it to be, and again, it does take practice. There's a little bit of uh, you know practice involved when you do go with this. Um, so keep that in mind. Failed 60%. Succeeded. Uh, keep that in mind when you are doing that. Failed. Um, so hopefully that short video of all of these elites actually gave you a, a little bit of idea on how to position those. That's going to be one of the things that you're going to try and do. Uh, keep in mind when you are doing uh, the positioning with the sentries, knowing where your enemies are going to come from. It's not a bad idea to retreat because those ball lightnings are traveling so slow that you're going to pull stuff through. You know, it, you're going to be able to you know, direct traffic basically and kind of filter the bad guys where you want them to. Now your pets are going to intercept them. I like getting an Arcane Traveler's Pledge for intelligence on my Demon Hunter. Um, now your pets are going to intercept them, but they're not necessarily going to go after the pets. They're going to be coming for you. So your pets are going to be there to help you intercept that, and it's a good thing to keep in mind when you are placing the sentry. So uh, hopefully this uh, really quick rift kind of gives you guys an idea on uh, how this works. So um, I guess... Feel free to check out if you didn't watch the original video. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that in a link below in the description. Uh, this is the lightning build. And again, we're going to do another uh, video with the permanent smoke screen. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this guys get, uh, gives you guys a good direction as far as which way to go uh, moving forward. If you like the default you know, sentry build with the Atreyu, uh, feel free to go with that. Else the Hell Trapper uh, can be quite fun with the Meticulous Bolts. So until um, next time, guys, happy hunting. We'll see you again.